Hello there guys, and welcome back to another edition of I Play Horror Games in the Middle of the Night. Try not to wake up my infant son. And today, we're going to be giving Madison a try. This is coming hot off the heels of the Mortuary Assistant, and I don't feel like I was really able to um, uh, do, do that game uh, enough justice, so there will be another part to that. Um, but today, we're going to be playing Madison, and I'm just going to jump right into this. Bloodiest games. I feel like that loading screen took way too long. Maybe it's just loading the entire game. Oh. Hello. Oh. oh my god. Oh my head. Oh. Watch out for the flashing TV light. Hello. Why are you so sad? Answer me that. What? Just answer me that! What am I answering? Your own family. Your own blood. What the hell were you thinking? I don't know. What did I do? What in the hell crossed your mind? What the fuck is happening to you? You ruined our family. Let's pick this up. What am I going to do now? I don't know. What is this? Is oh. It? No, no. What the yeah, f- This can't be happening. Oh God. Is that a photo of a severed arm and leg? It is. Well, that's lovely. I don't know, I like the voice acting so far. Hello? Sorry, um... Who are you? Dad. Oh. Dad. Dad? Is that mom's arm and leg? Dad, please. Please talk to me. I don't understand what's going on. What the fuck? That that TV is going to drive me insane. Okay. Um, Dad, stop. You're not making any sense. Okay, Dad. Well, I don't know what I did. If I'm to blame for the arm and the leg in the photo, i got to turn this TV off, my dude. Okay, one of these. Let me just... I don't have an item. Can I just pick up one of these? No? I, it's very dark. It's a very dark. Do I have a flashlight? No, I don't have a flashlight. At least not yet. With the traditional flashlight button being F. Anyhow, I'm assuming I don't have a flashlight. Anything in here? Hello? From your cousin Romeo, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Okay, can I open you? To John Maxwell and family. I can't open it. Camera's kind of floaty. I have to find the candle. No. Rotate. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm going to point it towards the darkness. What's over yonder? Got something here. That looks like a handle. My inventory sounded weird. Yep. Okay, got a handle. Is there anything else back here? Nothing I can see. Pop you off for a second. You're driving. Me, you're driving me bonkers. There we go. Screw that in there. What do we got here? Nice. I think we know how we're getting through that door. Why do I keep turning it off? I get too click happy in these games. Like really click happy. But I think I do that when I'm nervous. And click a bunch. Alright, Dad, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the hammer here on the. with my mind powers, apparently. You <laughs> are not my son! I. You are not my son! I don't know. Okay. I'm just gonna. can I close this? 
priest was like. Priest? What an idiot I was. Okay, pops. Wait. We should have taken you with Why? them. Why is this happening to me? I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Holy shit. Come on. Maybe I can get out through Grandpa's house. That's kind of intense, dude. I gotta get out of here. Oh, hey. That voice acting is good. That's actually really good. I like it. Oh, that's the uh, legs and arms. Okay, well, we're just gonna go and get out of here. Via Grandpa's house. It's gonna close you like I do. And, uh, there's this really weird ambient noise happening in the background that's kind of building tension and it's rattling my brain. Okay, well, I'm guessing I don't have what I need for that. Nice china. Oh. What the hell is that? Oh, nice. I guess we're going in. Grandpa? Hello, Grandpa. I need to find a way out. Before Dad notices I'm here. I think he already knows. That was, uh... Grandma, of course. Got multiples of the same photo hanging up. Holy sh... What the fuck? What is that? Okay, there's uh, some. What? Wasn't there a door here? I don't know, it's not my house. You would know it's your grandpa's house. Good lord. There's all this. Can I look in it? No. Looks like I gotta hang a picture there. Okay. Something to insert into the cuckoo clock. Let's just go see what's going on here. A big clock. Grandfather clock. Oh. I heard something. A door open or something. Can I do anything with you? Why are you here? Good lord. Oh, good. Oh. oh. Oh my god. What the hell? Uh. Hello, Grandma. I'm assuming. And Grandpa, I'm assuming. A present. Good. Okay. Oh boy, okay. That's locked. But this is not. Wookie. With an eyeball. It must be broken. Okay, thank god. Thank god it's broken. I don't want to hear the creepy music. Definitely don't know the combination to that, so. Why don't we just. Did this turn? Luca. My, 16. My birthday present? I'm 16. How did it get here? I sound older than 16. Oh. Nice. A Polaroid camera. What is the noise? What is that? Ugh. Might want to clean this place up. I hate those things. Hold camera. Oh. And shoot. Ooh, shake it off. What the hell 
was that? Okay. Well. Grandpa was just like that. Shirtless on a beach. Albert Maxwell, 1968. That looks older than 68. Hi. What is the noise? The chair keeps turning. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Hi. Grandpa. With your camera. Oh, Jesus. That... that... that matches that photo space out there, I think. Hello? Oh, there's something on the wall there. That look, looks kind of, kind of uh, important. Serial killer. I'm just making out what I see here. It's really coming down out there, huh? Oh. Damn, that's loud. Hang on. a bomb and then now for the weather. Why are you following me around here? Why? I, I'm confused. Okay, well, I don't know. Now it's locked. What the shit? Can I unlock you now? Is there any way for me to... It's trying to tell me to take a picture of it. What? Oh god. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh god. Anything good? I was floating for a second, wasn't it? Ugh. Okay. Alright. Holy shit. It is dark. I'm going over here for the photo. No. Ooh. Can I shake it off and see? I'm gonna be taking so many pictures <laughs> during this game. Just a clock. some shit like getting those vibes okay maybe I can do it now I should find a nail or something to hang it with okay well that makes sense fair enough Luca we'll find a nail get a, hey a nail look at there thanks grandfather clock oh my god Pull out the 
camera like it's a gun. You would think after enough of these games that uh, I would know better than to not be getting startled by them, but you know what? I don't play them very often. I don't record very often, so I don't get the chance. Like some people that just record every day of the week. Horror games non-stop. I, uh, I have an excuse. That, that looks great, Grandpa. That looks like a great photo. Let's take another photo of the photo. Oh! Very meta. No. Okay. Well, I don't know why it broke your picture, and I don't know what that is up there, but... But... <gasps> oh, a door. Insert that in there with my telekinesis. Oh, it's this room. Okay. Well, what the hell has Dad been doing here? It's a good question. Why did she kill her parents? What's uh, what? Nineteen eighty-seven. Is that what that says? Maybe that's... Dad said he was repairing Grandpa's house, but instead he's been investigating this woman? What is going on? 1987. So that's... Madison Hale, 43 years old, serial killer. Serial killer, ma serial killer rather. Madison Hale was shot down to death by Officer Russell who has just testified to have found her dismembering her victims inside a well of her property. Madison agonized a few hours before she died, even though she was shot in the stomach. Okay, Thunder, thank you for the uh, ambiance. The killer managed to survive a few hours. Serial killer caught and murdered. Up to four bodies might be involved. The police found mutilated body parts in her basement, which looked almost ripped off from a movie scene, as described. Four dismembered bodies were found in Hale's house. Apparently four were the victims. Witchcraft or mental illness? Evidence of mental illness was found inside the 43-year-old woman in Madison Hale's house, who apparently was trying to complete a sinister ritual which might involve murdering and butchering people. Might involve murdering and butchering. Nope, I'm gonna close you. Might involve murdering and butchering people, huh? What gave that away? The bodies? dismembered in her house. 87, that's important, so. Oh. Matches. Oh. J. A key. Even better. Anything on the TV? No? Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, I got a key. Guess, and I don't have that specific. I'm gonna take a picture. I see photos. I take picture. Will it reveal the answers? Ten. C with a down arrow. P and two. Okay. Well, it's something. Where are we going now? Oh. Grandpa. Oh. Well, I'll be damned. Okay. Didn't think that would work, but... Um. My notebook? So Dad's the one who took it away from me. I got a little storage unit here. I'll have to take a look at my notebook. Anything in the drawers? Aha. Uh -huh. Priest Thomas? 
John, I hope you find this useful. Please be careful. Remember that we what we talked about. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Priest Thomas. I know tapes are old, but I still struggle with computers. Got three tapes, it looks like. That sounds familiar. Alright. Okay. Okay. I see you, game. You're trying to startle me. Grandpa's house. I haven't been here since he died. Oh my god. Man. Holy shit. Well, you know, it looks nice. It's a nice looking, pretty, uh, pretty nice looking game. I will say. Hey, look. I can play my type here. Fuck. <laughs> oh. This storm must have taken up the power. Oh, great. Perfect. I think Grandpa had a generator in the basement. Of course. Of course he had a generator in the basement. Very subtle. Make me go to the basement already? This early? Jeez. Well, I appreciate the fact that the game isn't wasting any time. It has no signal. Yeah, nothing's gonna have any power, huh? Grandma and Grandpa's room. Where the magic happened. Okay. It is locked. And no, that's too dark. I'm not doing it. Nope. Still not doing it. Okay, that scared me. This statue scared me. Alright, here we go. A Jenny, look in there. Did it work? It worked. <laughs> okay. I'm a genius. I know how to turn on generators. Hey, that's uh, Jupiter and Mars. Take a listen. From the moment oh. of first contact, it is already too late. When a demon what? attaches itself to a human. Demons? Oh good, it more demons. A parasite of sorts. It feeds from the host until it devours every last part of their soul. In most instances, the demon's relentless objective is to get back to the world of the living. If you what want to break that about? link, well, I'm afraid it's no simple matter. I could speak at length about various rituals and procedures, but by far the best way is to obey. Help the demon attain that which it seeks. Only then will the demon leave of its own accord. Usually they enter the earthly plane through certain objects that they use as conduits between worlds. Even if you rid yourself of that object later, the demon has made the contact it needs, and already walks among us. In the first stages of possession, the host human tends to withdraw from friends and family, becoming aggressive, even violent. This is the result possessed? of the spiritual battle between the host and the entity, both vying for control over the mortal body. The symptoms that indicate that the possession is progressing are dizziness, nausea, and headaches. The latter of which can be so intense as to render the host unconscious for days. The dark entity manipulates its host with visual hallucinations and voices in the mind. Destroying the sanity of the host is for the purpose of making them malleable, compliant. Person. This is how the demon fully exerts its insidious control. Oh, and before I forget, several cases of possession saw strange behavioral patterns in nearby insects. 
Cockroaches in particular. My advice, steer clear of the insects. Well, there's a bunch of insects crawling around here. And there's it's... just no way. I can't be possessed. There must be a mistake. Those pictures, that leg, that arm, I didn't do it. Dad thinks it was me, but I... I... Oh, God. My head. A door. A red door. What's happening to me? Is this what that man was talking about? It's hurting my ears. It can't be happening to me. Well, Luca, um... Could it be the basement door? And there's bugs all over it. Now we're gonna take a picture. Police tape. Actually, can I look at this while I'm down here, like the whole thing? Or is it just... I don't remember drawing any of these. Dad's head, what? mom's arm, sister's what leg. We got sister's leg and mom's arm, we just needed dad's head. Oh. What? What is this place? I don't know, but this is pretty cool. This is impossible. What's... what's wrong with me? I don't know, buddy.
this picture isn't developing. It's terrifying. Oh God. Officer Russell here. Holy shit. June 17th of 1987, 527 AM. I am now entering Madison Avenue's basement. Hill? 1987? Am I time traveling? I Okay. God, there's a horrendous smell coming from down here. Well, um, that's because of. Oh, I almost can't take it. A naked old man down here. Time to make things worse so I can't see a goddamn thing down here. People never heard of flashlights? Like, where's my flashlight? I don't I don't know. Madison? Is is that you? Police! Show yourself! The that's in order! Uh <gasps> Oh boy. Don't go out like please. Motherfucker, holy where, shit. Where, where am I? <sighs> what is this place? That woman. <sighs> is it possible that she's still alive? I don't know, and I don't care. Oh, the one the bugs are coming out. There we go. Time to go. We can go in back in. Great. Don't like the 
sound of that. behind us for now and we're gonna try for the attic we just gotta find something to get us up well looks like it's open for us pal I guess we're going to the attic oh boy what are you looking at okay let's go yep Up we go.